Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Neta Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're still slugging ourselves through the Mulderwood, and uh, we have our eyes set on a large golden chest on the other side of this uh, road, but there's a bit of a battle in the way, so let's not wait any further and get right to it. And uh, probably, yeah, murder ourselves some Squiatel, surrounded as she traversed to Mulderwood. Meave always felt as if she was being watched. At times the queen thought she had glimpsed eye eyes glistening in the thicket that the rustle of tree branches carried ominous whispers. Of course, these were often mere delusions born of fatigue and fear, yet not this time. So we're getting a shortened battle, so we're not going to be uh, having too much use out of uh, knickers there. But um, uh, let's get... Whew. The stray slinging out of there, maybe, but... Even the cavalry is pretty useless at this point, because it only does one damage. And Nickers, of course! Okay, this might end badly. Let's put the regiment drummer out there first, because I feel like, yeah, my deck has grown a bit too big. And none of the special units, or Raynard is a blitz unit, but I'm not going to pull him out, probably. Um, yeah, this might actually hurt. So let's play this smart. So we're, we have damage dealers up front. So the quicker we can take those out... What is this, actually? Whenever you play an elf, boost it by one. Okay. I can't destroy artifacts just yet. I think not even with fire. Yeah. So let's just put fire on the front Watch row. Your heads. <laughs> to just maximize the damage you can get out of the fire. Show me the coin or sod off. Every two turns on turn start, summon a random elf from your deck. This is gonna hurt. Uh, so I'm not gonna play Nickus just yet. Because I want to keep him towards the end. But let's use the regiment drummer and see what we'll get out of him. Because I waste time for one like feel like it's all up to him now. May your sword and arm be one. Oh damn, order destroy a damaged unit. Are you serious? But a one cooldown. So let's use the war wagon now. Um, put it right over there. Then the regiment drummer gets us a simple sightman. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna this hurt. Is, we'll be reaping black clad heads. Um. So he's gonna destroy the bomber probably. The frame rate is suffering a bit, but okay or not? Uh oh, uh oh, that's damaging the highest unit every time. Let's play Nickers, because <laughs> that's the least interesting card I wanna. Oh damn, this is gonna hurt. So he's immune, so he can be targeted by the Elven Swordmaster, which gives us a bit of an advantage. And he's just gonna keep playing. Yeah, damn, that's gonna hurt a lot. Now we will see who is weak. I was really fucked there. So five and next to it, yeah, and then damage that, and then probably destroy my war wagon. <sighs> okay. So the most annoying ones are the, the top three there. So let's just get win. those three into the fire. Ah, oh, and I haven't played Meave yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fucking myself here, but let's do that. And end the turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to restart this one. Look what the werecat dragged in. Spawn and play a fire trap. After three, two turns on turn start, damage all units on the opposite row by four. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this. Let's play Rayla now, because I feel like she can get us a drummer and then start generating more and more units. Uh, there we go. The and there goes Nickus. Uh, do we damage the units already or not? I'm gonna wait. We're definitely gonna have to use Meave in the next turn. Uh, now we get the, the Elven Swordmaster. Okay. So next up is Rayla. She can play a card. We can use her to get the drummer out. 
We could get egg as well. But I feel like the drummer is going to help us generate a lot more units. Um, it's it's definitely the time something we're going to need. Um, then use Meave on the Elven Swordmaster, because I really want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Uh, and then... Use the Slingers, actually. I'm going to use the Slinger to get both of those over here. Ah, crap. Yeah, of course. Yeah, never mind. Let's see how this plays out. Because he can use a six damage attack again. Your bet will avenge us, Duan. And there goes a fire trap immediately now. And then the six. Ah, and there goes the drummer. Yeah. I'm gonna try one more thing. If this what doesn't do pull the drummer, it does pull the drummer. Left, right, left, right. Ah, uh, because I feel like. Yeah, okay, so the trap is down. But everything else starts to hurt. There we go. Fog, which is also bad. Um, let's use the drummer. Play Rain It, which uh, gives us another charge. Discipline shall bring us victory. Oh, and it also charges up Black Rayla. So does that mean I can use Xavier to Fear not. give charges to... Oh. And this is more interesting. There we go. So I can play any card with her now. Um, so let's use the Regiment Drummer. Get another Sightman out there. Yeah. There's a time to reap, a and time then to use sow. Black Rayla to get the the egg out of there. I think I should, right? Yeah, let's get egg out of here. Prepare to fight. Then if use Rayla honor. to get another stray slinger out here, so I can destroy um, those units. So I take out the archer and the elven swordmaster. The bomber I don't really care about, so she can stay on the back row with no repercussions. And then we have one more charge for Rayla, because I want to keep her on there. So let's end the turn. Okay, so that's interesting. So we can chain back Rayla fail. and Xavier. Because Rayla doesn't show charges. Uh, which the drummer, for example, does show how many charges he has. So I thought, since he gives charges, that he couldn't do that with black Rayla. Um... Let's use the Morana runestone first now, because those are all damaged units. Although we might actually be able to put that a bit further. Let's try this. And end the turn. No, I should have should have used the Morana runestone first. So that's another destroyed Squire Tell unit, so Black Rayla goes up. And then it's all up to him. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. So the neophytes, which are None fine. Shall tread on us. Shouldn't have put egg on the side there. Would have been better to put them. Uh... I'm actually wondering if I now wait. So I can use Black Rayla the final time to play whatever the hell I want to play. I think I might actually just use the Slingers again. I know Gascoin is here as well, but 16 is not that much. Or use the Foragers. I don't have any use for the Foragers. I'm gonna have to keep him... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the, the Foragers out of there. So I think... Just the Slingers, right? And put another Slinger over here. The white of an eye from our and then put those all on the, that row again. He's just gonna keep damaging that one. Fair enough. And that boosts Rayla up again. I can't do any more damage with my units at the moment. So I'm going to use the Forager to get Raynard and Black Rayla up here. Oh, be ashamed. And just use them again. There we go. And then the turn. That did boost the Neophytes, which is stupid. But Everything all right? Nikas could still take my Morana Runestone, by the way. But I'm going to use it right uh, now. And then and the turn. A 
have strength, my love. So those are not bosses, right? Those mercenaries? No. So that means I can use the forager. Oh, I can't. I can't put him in between there. Okay. So I did want to try something. If I put him... No. I'm going to take the artifact if I do that. So let's just put him over here. I only loot corpses. Except some Trigger that. They're quite fresh. And that boosts the neophytes again, of course. But we can use Meave to damage one of those. Uh, by four. And that boosts up my Sightman once more as well. That's sad. I could have used the Forager to put him in between uh, here. So I could take the Mercenary and the Light Infantry. But sadly couldn't do that. But now we won with uh, overwhelming numbers. Fire! So yeah, Black Raylaw. Black Raylaw with... Uh, with Xavier is a really, really nice uh, bonus there. And there we go. Victory. A really nice combo. But I feel like Nick is, is going to have to go. Uh, I'll probably need this later. So probably the amount of wood we gathered. I think that was the final trophy gathering-wise. What is that? Something glistening in a bird's nest. That feels like a Dark Souls reference for some reason. From uh, Sparky. Sparkly the crow. Uh, just gonna check out my deck really quickly. So in an effort to reduce the amount of units I have on my deck, because I had a few bad draws there, I uh, removed a lot of the Sightman and one of the Cavalry and added the Wagenberg instead. So that has a really high recruitment cost, but I feel like we might be able to use that a bit more now that we have a damage heavy deck. Uh, together with Black Rayla. Xavier and a few of the drummers, we can actually pull a lot of those units out from the deck. Uh, which is going to come in handy later on. So that's a bit of the changes I did. Moving on. And let's check out this bird's nest. Your majesty, something glitters and glimmers atop this cliff. A few brave souls are prepared to scale it. Perhaps they'll find something of value. Perhaps they'll break their legs. So I'm intrigued. Have them climb it. We lose two soldiers, but we get a part of a card. Which is always something nice. Ooh, that's the artifact compression. So that resets a unit in Gwent, but I don't know what it's going to do in this game, of course. And there's a little village down there. And a log in the way. So that's we're heading towards that, um, that chest. My lady quite have felled a tree onto the road. We can't remove it, but it would require some time. And every moment we spend in this godforsaken forest has a dreadful effect on our soldiers. So yeah, uh, we need to get them to work. We get 50 wood, but we lose morale. So we get down to the lowest morale. Um, I actually never checked if we could use that shrine where we got ambushed to actually get morale back. So I'm going to have to check that out in a second. And we got another uh, multiplayer border. An avatar border for Ingwent itself. So that's nice. Let's return. So crossing the bridge, we'll be heading towards that village down there. I don't know what kind of settlement this will be. And apparently there's a crow we can talk to. My lady, look. The raven, it is something tied around its talons, some sort of letter, addressed to our enemy perhaps. Likely worth the look, I'd say. A fair point, let's lure it with any baubles we can find. So we lose one coin, but we get the treasure map, of course we're gonna do that. So that's probably in the town down below, because we haven't seen a lot of buildings just yet. Uh, so let's head down. And this is actually a normal village, doesn't seem like it's Quietel or anything. And we can boost our morale here, which is good. There we go, back to neutral. And get, ooh, a lot of recruits here. That is actually a welcome addition to our recruits because we lost a few by making new units. And of course, the fire with the tree from a, the previous episode. On the edge of the Moulderwood, there stood a small village, Crumhorn. The hamlet was surrounded by a high palisade while the villagers carried makeshift weapons Flails, axes, and nail-studded planks. Life as the Scoyatel's neighbors was clearly not easy. While her men rested, Meave approached two of the villagers. They lowered their heads in respect and fidgeted nervously with their shirt hems. My lady, reckon you ought to know. Elves meeting traders in the woods at night. Buy swords, herbs. Rayla, who had overheard the conversation, twisted her mouth in a hateful scowl. Porkers. Stink worse than vermin. Willing to help murderers for coin. Please, milady. 
We must find them and punish them. You, talk. Where do these meetings take place? The peasants looked at each other. One scratched his head, the other towed the sand. Finally, one of them blurted out, Could tell you, my lady, yes, but uh, only for gold. Okay. So let's pay for the information, because... Uh, since they have a palisade against the Squiretel, I feel like they won't be helping the Squiretel. Um, and of course, hawkers. Hawkers are a bit of assholes. So uh, hawkers are humans who actually sell stuff to the Squiretel. But uh, they are themselves just humans. Um, so let's pay for the information. I see I'm dealing with shrewd men of trade. Fine. Your fee. Meave took a few coins from her pouch and tossed them on the ground. The peasants dropped on all fours and started snatching the coins from the grass, ignoring the contemptuous gaze of the Queen's soldiers. Them orcas wheel them goods to the old fishing hut north of here. Skyatel come a-crawling from the woods, the first crow of the cockerel. The Queen told her men to prepare to fight the Skyatel and their abettors. Black Rayla sat on a fallen trunk and sharpened her sword. The grinding of stone on blade sounded a grim promise. We got the gold. Them elves will get a beating. And that's what I call good custom. Yeah, that, that's of course a win-win for them. So we do have a new location now. Is that marked on the map to the north? So I think this is probably the fishing hamlet because I see a boat and a bit of a pier. So should be able to check that out. We can go underneath the rock here and get those resources. That was a nice bit of gold actually. Got about quadruple the amount I gave to those uh, peasants back. Uh, anything else? The notice board, which probably shows us, yeah, the question mark we just discovered. And then a battle on the north, in the north, towards our next objective, probably. Because I'm avoiding to go where we actually need to go for the story. Uh, just to avoid missing something, of course. Uh, so moving along the bridge. And let's see what's... Ooh, what's this? What's this? There's like a man covered in dirt. Milady, we found human remains below in a rather grisly state, I'm afraid. Seems Quietel soldiers smeared the man in dog lard, tied him up and left him near a necker nest. I've heard the elves often execute their captives in such a cruel manner. I wonder what, the, what he stole from them. Perhaps we'll find out, drive away any monsters and search the body. I'd like to know for certain, have egg, rid the area of monsters, then search for the body. Search the body. Um, we don't want to lose soldiers, so we can do that without losing soldiers since we have egg. There we go. So, in a, hmm, a twisting road with a, a rock face. By the way, that other treasure map, isn't that supposed to be here somewhere? Can't seem to find it, so let's head towards that fishing hamlet. So those are probably the hawkers, yeah, and Squiretel, so uh, here we go. Meave arrived at the hut the villagers claimed to be the meeting point for the Squiretel and the Hawkers. Torchlight flickered amidst the trees, and she heard the sound of hushed voices. Your Grace, whispered Rayla. They're in our grasp. We must act quickly if all the elves retreat into the woods. So the peasants didn't lie for now, so give the order to attack. Worry not, Rayla, the Queen said, patting her on the back. I shan't let a chance like this slip. Attack! The Lyrians rushed out of the woods of the unsuspecting elves and merchants. Moments later, the sound of combat filled the dark wood. So again, Squiretel, here we go. So a dangerous trade. A cancelled transaction, it is difficult to say who held more contempt for the hawkers. Humans, whose laws they had broken by trading with the Squiretel, or the elven warriors themselves, who viewed them as honorless traitors to their race. Whatever the case, the hawkers paid neither any mind, nor if they stood to gain coin, they would bargain with any and all. Shorten battle, so one round. We haven't had a proper really long battle just yet, so let's get Nickus out of there, because he gets, uh, well, ordered uh, automatically. Reynard. Definitely Reynard. Here we go. Hawker scum! So that's going to give us a lot of charges if we manage to keep the drummers alive, that is. So... Let's see what this is. Hawker transport. Whenever a unit is summoned from the deck of a tree armor and gain one charge. When this unit reaches three charges, spawn a random trinket in your hand and set the charge count to zero. So I should probably focus my attention to that guy. Uh, so let's start out with the war wagon. 
Can't take any more. And see what we can do after that. So the foliage I can use Show that. Me the coin or sod off. Okay, I can use the foliage to get 10 damage out of there immediately. And then we'll see what is left of those guys. If it goes twice on the front unit, it's gonna be a very, very nice addition. I only loot corpse. If not, Except sometimes. Well we'll see. One, two, okay, there we go. That means I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, I wanna kill that thing immediately. Although it's a waste of meave. Whenever a unit is summoned from the deck of a tree armor. So for now, I think I should be fine. Got business for me. Okay, so let's use a stray slinger to take out the one unit over there. So the the, so the transport. And there we go. And then we can use Meave to just double damage those smugglers. And end the turn. So of course the smugglers just Definitely spawn not. more units. Let's take a minute and use the drummer. Because I want to avoid... Yeah, let's use the drummer to see what we can get from me. him. And then probably Being next is going to be Rayla. Ooh, that is a problem. That is a problem. That Elven Swordmaster might be a pain in the ass. Um, let's use the drummer and see what we can get from him. The Sightman. He gets damaged. Then we can use Black Rayla with her 5 armor to... Hopefully stay alive long enough. You'll never take me alive. And there goes Nickers. Let's end the turn. So now they can damage something. Now we will see who is weak. Okay, okay. So they just killed the one that was already damaged, which is fine by me. Now, we can use Rayla to get whatever we want, but we need to be a bit smart about this. So let's use Rayla first. And let's use Rayla to get another drummer. No, I'm not going to be able to. Because um, the drummer won't, be, won't have his charges. And I think I want to use Rayla to get Xavier out. So Xavier over here. Get it to work. Then we can use Xavier to get Rayla two more charges. Then use Rayla to get another drummer out. I think, yeah, let's use another drummer. Put that over Left. there. Right. Use Rayla Left. again right. to get... Um, hmm, not the Wagenberg. I'm going to keep the Wagenberg there. I can actually just play the Lyrian Horn. Okay. There we go. And taking care of all of that. We still haven't played the cards. So now we could... I'm going to do that. I'm going to use Raynard immediately to just give I'm everybody charges again. Doing. That means that, ooh, even the Forager gains another charge. Let's give one more charge to Rayla. Then use the drummer to see what we can get from him. Uh, which is another Sightman. Use the Forager to get to Xavier and Nickers out of the board. So we, I also avoid using uh, losing one of my trinkets. And that's pretty much it. So I used up a lot there. Do I want to use... Yeah, I'm going to use Rayla one more time to get another Slinger out. And damage those dudes, uh, the two smugglers. And maybe even the... Blah, 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 the Elven Swordmaster. There we go. And end the turn there. So of course the Archer can do 6 damage on a boosted unit. So I'm going to have to take her out sooner rather than later. So that's all. I shall not fail. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to lose my drummer. going to lose my drummer. No biggie, no biggie. I'm going to use Rayla to get another Forager out. There we go. With the Forager next to the War Wagon and the other Forager. Use him to burn those two. And then use the Lyrian Merlot to boost the, the Lyrian Simon if I see this correctly. Yeah, by 58. By 51. So he goes to 58. And the turn. We ought to help one or the other. Oh, damn. They boosted that one again. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. Let's use the slinger to damage the archer. Have a storm, knock out one of your teeth. The archer, the elven swordmaster, and the rest I don't really care about. 
The healing is annoying, but I can't really do anything about that. So he goes to 8. I could use Meave to do that, but I really want to get rid of the archers so they lose their continuously damaging uh, factor there. So Elven Archer, down it is. That boots our Sightman even higher. And another one goes down, so Black Rayla goes up as well. Everything all right? Aha. Uh -huh. A Spire. But a Spire is not going to be able to do anything. Because it only does... Damage adjacent units by 6. If any were destroyed, move the Elder to the battlefield. So, I'm just going to use the Morgana Runestone now. And boost those by 2. And then we're going to go with Egg as a last oh, no. resort. So that's just more healing. And we... Yeah, we get damage there. But he stays on our side. And then I can actually just use Egg... The unworthy shall be to punished. finish the battle. We're going to lose that Slinger, but that's pretty much the only thing that's going to happen. They can heal up a bit, but yeah, they're not going to yeah, make uh, make up for 100 points. There we go. There's but one penalty for trading with elves. And there we go, victory. Me We're getting to a lot of Squirtel battles. She laid a trap for the Squirtel in their own woods. The surrounded elves fought to the bitter end. Choosing death over human captivity, Neve cracked open the hawker's chests and stared at a mass of tangled oakum. Perplexed, she dug deeper and found the real goods hidden underneath. Bolts with entrail pureeing hooks, leg-snapping bear traps, and incurable poisons. So we see Reynard and Gas going on there on the right, so I feel like we're going to get another discussion between those two. Cruelty said Reynard, looking over the chest's contents. Designed to deliver maximum pain and a prolonged death. Tis shameful to fight with such things. The usually quiet ache blurted out. Gascon did not share in the general gloom. He reached for one of the arrows and balanced it in his hand with curiosity. A corpse is a corpse. It cares not how it became one. And these marvels... Oh, my lads could do fine things with them. Okay, so basically, equip your troops with the weapons. So I'm going to suppose that's going to add specific units to our options. Or we destroy the Hawker's weapons and we support Egg and Reynard this time. I feel like we should. Because um, I've gone with Gascon a few times since he had a point. But now... Designed to deliver maximum pain and a prolonged death. I feel like you just want to kill your opponent, not make him suffer too much. So, let's, yeah, let's destroy the Hawker's weapons. I'm actually hoping we're going to get a lot of wood from that as well. Because I'm actually hurting for wood. So, let's destroy the Hawker's weapons. My crown I have lost, but my honor remains. Meave said, grabbing the arrow from Gascon. I will not allow soldiers under my command to fight with this. Reynard, have these chests thrown in the lake. In sinking the hawker's weapons, Meave sent a clear signal that her honor would not tarnish even at the darkest hour. News of the massacre echoed through all of Edern, cooling the desire of anyone tempted to profit by selling death to elven terrorists. Okay, seems like there are no consequences just yet. And we got a morale boost from not going with those... Uh, horrible weapons which is uh fine by me it feels like that could have been a point where we lost gas coin or even egg of reynard if they if we decided to go with those uh atrocious weapons um but apparently we made the right decision that there is something like that in here so we got another report from that Hawker Correspondence, Joel, Eldane's pointy ears have put in the following order. Two boxes of gut-tearing bolts, three canisters of weaponized hemlock, five crates of snares and traps, one bullwhip made of the finest steel for Commander Pointy Ears himself. Bite each coin twice, last time they slipped in a few falsies. And keep the devils of the main roads, still can run into Eder Edernian, Edernian patrols at times. Claws. So we haven't seen claws yet, I think. So, um, I don't think we had any new things added. So I'm just going to move on. Oh, there's another trap in the road. 
Another trap this fortunate our scout spotted it. What now your grace? Bridge the fill pit bridge the pitfall or go back. I don't want to lose that 50 wood. I'm really hurting for wood. So we'll go back, we'll find another route. So let's just go around. And I'll see you guys in a second. And I feel like I want to use our resources a bit further. So let's upgrade the training grounds to level 2. Which gives us an upgraded excitement, Which gives it a power of 9. And boosted itself by 7 with each loyal pull. Then we have the Stray's Bomber set a row on fire. And I'm going to assume the power went up. But I think the fire might actually do more damage as well. And then the Grey Rider is interesting. So 3 armor after a different ally is played from hand or moved to the other row. Move next to it and boost it by 1. So let's upgrade this and we'll check those out. So the Grey Rider actually looks interesting as well to, well, combine with Gascon. So I added the Grey Rider, which should be the only change I really did. I added another Slinger and a Sightman and removed one of the, uh, well, I removed both of those Cavalrymen because I really don't see a use for them. Because the damage is just too low to actually do anything with. Uh, and you can't really react to anything as well. So uh, moving back. And let's see if we can find anything else. Oh, wow. So, from the little village we've been through, there's actually a hidden path over here that goes through the woods. If I can find my way around here. Uh, over there. And then over here, we got this little pumpkin shack. What the hell is this? Oh, and there we have the treasure chest. So let's open that up as well from the Raven's map. And we get the Gascon uh, avatar for your Gwent, which is nice. Pumpkins. Huntsman's away from hearth and home. Okay. Watch out for the Acromantula. Wait a second. This is... Mighty fine pumpkin harvest this year. This looks a lot like Hagrid's shack from Harry Potter with the pumpkins next to it and everything. Huntsman's away from hearth and home. This, this really looks like that, doesn't it? Is this a Harry Potter reference? I feel like it is. So that's pretty much all there is to this, apparently. So uh, moving back. So now we keep moving north towards the uh, the Alvin settlement that we actually need to go to. Uh, we've been to that camp. We were ambushed over there, but we can head north. We can actually go through the woods here as well. Okay, more resources for us, I guess. And that uh, looks like that's all there is. There's a bridge here. Oh, what was that? I saw you. I saw you. We're gonna get ambushed. So let's get ambushed then. We're on high morale, so this shouldn't be a problem. Is this gonna be a prolonged fight? Nope. Shortened battle. Impasse. Elven warriors burst from the forest. A menacing cry on their lips. Faces striped in war paint. Eyes burning with hatred. Neve stood at the front and crossed weapons with one of these fierce partisans. They stood locked face to face. Their breathing labored from great effort. Who would prevail and whose life would be extinguished in the shade of these ancient trees? I guess we'll see, but I'm guessing it's gonna be the uh, Squirtle's life. Because they're all gonna die. There we go. So we got, ooh, we got a nice batch of golden cards immediately. So Black Rayla is always nice. Then two forages along with the Lillian Merlot might actually be interesting. Then I think I might be able to get rid of the Lillian Horn. Regiment Drummer is fine. Alchemist maybe out of there for something I can actually use to get more units. Although, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Let's finish redrawing. So, uh, let's set the row on fire as a nice starting point. Catch! So, uh, they get damaged cons constantly. Ooh, that's six damage, of course. The one they came missed. Then the Wagenberg. I could use the Wagenberg, but I feel like this is gonna bite me in the ass a bit. Uh, so let's put Black Rayla down, I think. No, let's wait. Let's let's start off with the Wagenberg. Since they're all boosted, it's a bit annoying because, of course, I can't help. Yeah, he just killed that in one go. <laughs> Duel the lowest enemy. Hmm. This is gonna be a problem because, of course, I can't decide the fact that they're boosted. So let's use Black Rayla. Put her in the I'll back there. My last breath. And there's Nickus as well. Maybe he will do something. I have no idea. 
There goes the archer again. And he just duels the lowest enemy. Ooh, ah, yeah. And then fog. So. Um, that is annoying. So let's use the drummer. Again and again and again. Use Black Rayla to get Xavier over here. Xavier Lemons. Oh, right over here. Get it to work. Then get more points on Rayla. And then use Rayla to get. You know what? Let's get uh, Egg out of here. Out of the deck. Prepare to fight. If then use Black honor. Rayla again. And get Raynard out. And Raynard will allow us to get another charge. Same with Xavier. Then Black Rayla can use the Lyrian Horn. There we go. Should have used Xavier first, but never mind. There goes the one of the archers. Then we can use Xavier on Black Rayla again. And use Black Rayla to get... Um, I have a forger in my hand, right? Yeah, let's use him to get the war her to get the Guy war wagon out Hungry like a wolf, I and use my first rivian broadsword on the elven archer ha! there we go because i need to use it anyway that Go damages man! my oop dee pop -do, and that also gets damaged <laughs> which is fine by me what the hell did that guy actually do? Destroy the lowest enemy and damage all units on a row by its power. Yeah, let's use the Regiment Drummer. Get a Sightman out of there. Aye. Use the Stray Slinger to... Yeah, Ever let's use the Stray Slinger to get rid of the Fire Trap, the Squirtail Bomber and the Elven Archer. And let's hope it actually takes care of the Archer as well now with the Fire. Oh, he ate the Lyrian Merlot. God damn it. And he, by the way, he boosts himself, I think. Oh no, he strengthens himself. Never mind, take that back. The Fry had brigades. Ooh. What does that actually do? Double the lowest enemy, double this unit's current power, and refresh it. Ooh. Order ability. Okay. Well, that's an issue. Double the lowest enemy. Crap. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Forager on Black Rayla and the Artifact. I know I lose a bit of damage doing that, but yeah, let's do that. Oh, be ashamed to let this Leave him waste. there for now. And then the turn. That is annoying, the Elven Sentry. Didn't realize that it could actually double the unit. Ooh, that is annoying. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to boost my Boy, damage output in this deck. This is actually the perfect opportunity to see if the foragers actually skip artifacts or not. So let's use the forager to get fresh. Nikki's and that one down there. And then use this forager. Yeah, it takes care of the artifact. Okay. So that's 50. Let's end the turn. Could have used the runestone there first, but yeah, we're just gonna, gonna try a few things out. I don't think he's gonna... Ooh, that doubling is annoying. Because he can do that again. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Um. Hmm. I might actually lose this. This is gonna double up again. <laughs> That's gonna give oh, him 50 serious. points extra. And good company. There we go. Because we played. I think we played a lot of characters in the in the same row. I think we played pretty much every character in the same row. There we go. We get more damages. And now we can heal all allies and boost them. And that should be enough even to survive the, the dueling. Exciting. Exciting. So it survives 104. God wow. damn it. Woo, we barely won that. I also forgot to use Meave again. That was a bit my fault, but... Okay. Noted. Sentries. We need to take out sentries. Because sentries are uh, pain in the ass. Another letter. Elian? Ellen? Ellen? My daughter, I beg you, please return home. Only death awaits you in the company of the Squirtel. Don't do this to me. 
Don't do this to your mother. Losing your brother in the pogrom was already too much to bear. In the name of all that is sacred and the memory of our ancestors, leave the forest while you still can. Oh, again, I suppose, because I don't want to disrespect the man's final letter, but... Yeah, so that's... It's still... Okay. I, did... I can't talk to the man, but there's an elf just hidden in here. I'm supposing he's going to stay in there. So before we cross this bridge, I'm actually going to take a little break because I've been going for about an hour already. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And next up, we're going to just keep strudging along the Mulderwood. So uh, see you guys next time in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.